Good morning, saints. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to, especially those who are visiting, who are worshiping with us for the first time, or those who have come back after a long time. To those on the airwaves, welcome. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed is his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts open, all his eyes known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worldly magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So with you. Let us pray, Almighty God. You have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give us grace to follow your blessed saints in all virtues and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you are prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, creator and preserver of all humankind, grant to us, your people, protection against ravages of hurricanes, floods, fires, earthquakes, droughts, and all their calamities that in tranquility of weather we may rejoice in the comfort we ever desire and may always make right use of your glorious goodness, great goodness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The first reading, Isaiah 25, verses 6 through 9. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations, he will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him. 
so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, for it is who he founded it upon the seas, who can ascend the, the hill of the Lord. Those who have clean hands and the pure heart, they shall receive a blessing from the Lord, such is the generation of those who seek him. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them up high, O everlasting doors. Who is this King of glory? Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them up high, O everlasting doors. Who is he, this King of glory? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, as it, was, as it was in the beginning, is now. The second paragraph, a reading from the Revelation to John. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away from the sea with no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride, I turned for her husband, and I heard a loud sound, the throne saying, See, the home of God is among miracles. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no myrrh, mourning and crying and pain will no myrrh. For the first things have passed away, and the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and proof. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping. He said he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he open the eyes of the blind the man who kept the man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave. And the stone was lying against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he had been dead four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. Dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him, and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray. God, we thank you for being here. We thank you, Lord, for life, the breath we breathe. Lord, I thank you for these, your servants who are assembled here and those around the world who are gathered to worship you this day. Bless each one of us, Lord, and keep us safe, we pray. In your name we ask. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I just want to pause a moment to say thank you to my three youngsters who read. Didn't they read wonderfully? Thank you, Daniela, uh, Noah, and Ajani for doing such an excellent job. I'm glad to see my Sunday school children and their teachers are here. Today is All Saints Day. We're celebrating it. The feast is actually tomorrow, but we move it to today. I had a friend named Sonia. 
and she had three sons. And they were well off. And the first son bought her a big mansion with 15 bedrooms. And the second son bought her a Mercedes Benz with chauffeur. And the third son bought her a parrot. The parrot can read the Bible and find all the books in the Bible. And so a couple of weeks later, mother went to the first son and said, son, I thank you for the gift. He said, but it's I alone, 15 bedrooms. I get lost in that house. So she went to the second and said, son, I want to thank you for the Mercedes Benz. He said, but I don't like that driver. He too, drives too fast. And he said to the son, third son, the son, thank you for that gift. The bird was delicious. <laughs> oh, Paras. All Saints Day. And the two scriptures I'm going to leave with you today is one, the first is from 1 Corinthians 14, 33. 1 Corinthians 14, 33, and it says, But God is not a God of confusion, but peace, as in all the churches of the saints. The second text I'll leave with you is, from Ephesians 1.1, 1, 1, and it reads, If an unbeliever, sorry, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God to the saints who are at Ephesus and who are faithful in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 1.1. 1, 1. If, as a believer, now I'm going to ask you this question, as a believer, if someone was to walk up to you and ask you the question, are you a saint, what is your response? Are you a saint? Oh, you. I just read for you from Scripture and says that you are a saint. So why is it that you are hesitant to say yes? Are you a saint? So I'm not sure. <laughs> Lord, take me this. We are all saints. And so All Saints Sunday means different things to different people. If you were a Roman Catholic, they would talk about Pope John Paul and Mother Teresa as saints. If you are an Episcopalian, we would talk about Samuel Seabury, the first bishop of the United States, and Absalom Jones, the first black priest, person to be ordained priest. And if you are a Methodist, you would talk about John Wesley as a saint. The word saint means someone who had led a godly life far surpassing the average church person. Others will think of the saints of the Bible. For example, John, Peter, Paul, and all the other saints you can name. But you and I are saints. Yes, we all mess up, right? We all make mistakes. We all fall short of the glory of God at times, making poor decisions, saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. But God, in his infinite love and mercy, pardons each one of us. Remember that. We go to God and we ask for forgiveness. 
I think and I believe that this person, the sinner that God has difficulty with, is those who are full of indifference. When you are full of indifference, you become a problem to God, much less to other people. Because if you can't see the fact that you are a sinner and accept it and realize that you make mistake, then there's a big problem. Paul says, oh, wretched man that I am. Do you think I'm a sinner? Don't say anything, Sonia. <laughs> we are all sinners. And remember, we sin in thought, word, and deed. A small child who was staring at the stained glass windows in the church. And each window depicted a saint or a patriarch. And he was just fascinated by the beautiful glass window and the sun shining through the window. And the Sunday school teacher asked, do you know who are those? And the child responded, they are saints. They are men who the light shines through. So the light of Christ should shine through each of us. And while we may look at each other and say, oh, no good, no good, God says yes, because God made you. God made each one of us. And so while we might criticize each other, God looks down. The box stops with God. Remember that. You may condemn somebody. Somebody might condemn you. But God sees different. God doesn't think like us human beings. Yes. As a believer in Christ, we are made new through baptism. And that means that Jesus is the beginning and the end, as Noah read for us, Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. All lives begin in Christ, and our baptism confirms that. And it ends in Christ when we dwell in heavenly home that he had prepared for us. We are saints. And we have the light of Christ in our lives. It's just that sometimes we don't have enough light, oil, to keep that light burning bright. So the others, remember, says, let your light do what? So shine that they may see your good works. And do what? Glorify who? God. Yes. So when others see the good that you do, remember, there is good in every one of us, and there's some bad in every one of us. Hello? No matter how good we behave or how good we think we are, sometimes we sit down and we think mischief. We think mischief. We think things that shouldn't go that way. But then we have to remember that God brings us back into his grace. We are saints who have the light of Christ in our lives. And that makes us new. We are new people in Christ as we are part of the body of Christ, the church. We cannot, my friends... Be saints apart from the church. For the church is the body of Christ and we are members of it. As we gather together as the body of Christ, we help each other in our faith journey in life. In the church, we are bound 
with each other, bonded with each other at the very core of our being through the body and blood of Jesus Christ that we receive in Holy Communion. That bonding is the thing that holds the church together. And what gives us the saints as courage to live our lives. There's a book written by a great theologian called Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And the book is titled Life Together. And I quote from this book, God has willed that we should seek and find his living word in the witness of a brother and a sister, in the mouth of a man and a woman, in the mouth of a child. Remember, Scripture says that a little child shall lead them. And the quote continues. The Christian, therefore, as Christians, we need another Christian to speak God's word to each other. He or she needs him again and again when we become uncertain and discouraged by himself. He can't help himself. We can't help each ourselves alone. The song says, each man is my brother. Each man is my friend. And the court continues, we need each other's. We are each other's bearer and proclaimer of the divine word of salvation. He needs his brother solely because of Jesus Christ. The Christ in his own heart is weaker than the Christ in the word of his brother. His own heart is uncertain. His brother is sure. According to Bonhoeffer, we need each other's faith so our will will remain strong or when it does falter, someone, someone will be there to help us to get on the right track. Not only are saints people who the light shines through, but saints are people who reach out a hand of hope, courage, love, and faith to another saint. Not only do we reach out, my friends, to another saint, but we reach out to those who have not found the love of Christ in their lives. When we give a homeless person some food, when we send clothing and food to other people in distress, that's the work of a saint. Because we want those saints to be strong. We want those saints to survive. We are to extend a hand of Christ to our brothers and our sisters as saints, to those who would become saints. We are to reach out to those who are bereaved, lonely, afraid, or weakened in their faith, especially in this time of this pandemic. I'll share a few words of a poem called, What is a Saint? A saint is a sign of contradiction, a living symbol of the cross. He or she is a person who believes in the unbelievable, who bears the unbearable, forgives the unforgivable, loves the unlovable, is perfectly happy 
to be perfect, is willing to give up his or her own will, becomes weak to be strong, and find love by giving it away. We who are saints, my friends, are people who reach our hand up and the Lord to the Lord so that we may always be in his grace. And we reach out to one another outward to those who stand next to us in the body of Christ, the church, so that those who are not here, but who could not be here, it will reach out to them. As Bonhoeffer says, therefore, Christ is counting on us. The Christian needs another Christian who seeks God's word. So him or her, we need one another so that we can believe the unbelievable. Bear the unbearable. Forgive the unforgivable forgivable and love the unlovable. Remember who you are as you reach out your hand to a neighbor or to a fellow saint. Remember who you are as a person who the light shines through. Remember who you are, a little Christ, that those around you will see the light. In the Old Testament, a saint was a person who had trusted God and who looked forward in faith to coming to the coming of the Messiah. In the New Testament, a saint is anyone who has trusted Christ as his or her Savior and Lord. Paul refers to his fellow Christians as saints. We are living, my friends, in an age where morals are low, lower than ever before. How can we avoid the same kind of sin that ruined David's life? Take the name of Jesus, my friends, with you. And when temptation surrounds you, stop, breathe, and pray in his holy name. Our Father
Prayers of the People, Form 6. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work. For our parish families, our friends and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Peter, our bishop, Father Henry, our priest in residence, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons. Serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, and for all those requesting our prayers, especially for, this, for those serving in the military at home and abroad, and for Sanaya, Aidan, Patrice, Matt, Laverne, Joyce, Serrano, Noel, Matthew, Nigel, and the Guy family, Keegan, Neil, Leslie, Greg, Kyle, Patty, Kelsey, Erlen, Kaj, Diana, Vanessity, Keith, Liz, Pauline, Dora, Les, Beatrice, Albert, Archdeacon Robertson, Armand and the Williams family, and those whose names we do not know. I ask your prayers for those celebrating birthdays, especially Cathy, Christopher, Michelle, Sydney, Shay Anthony, and Darius. And for those celebrating wedding anniversaries, especially Richard and Ida. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Especially we pray for those who have died this past year. Keith Aiken, Joel Anderson, Ralph Anderson, Sylvia Anderson, Arthur Batiste, Gloria Bradshaw, Gloria Brown, Kimberly Brown, Twidlin Brown, Edward C. E. Brown, Anthony Campbell, Muriel Campbell, Aston Troy Carvalho, Lloyd Charlton, Shirley Clark, Edith Coleman, George Dawkins, Magdala Denos, Jean Emeline Derisant, Adeline Doctor, Edgar Douglas, Andrea Eddy, Hope Thompson Edwards, Christina Igobidin, Keith Emery, Lloyd Emery, Yvonne Emery, Marcia Fagan, Tyro Falward, Marie Nadia Fanfan, Carlton Ferron, Antonio Fernandez, Selassie Alphias Francis, Sharon M. Gardner, William Janice, Sean Paul Gordon, Judith Harris, Letia Harris, Herman Henry, Rohan Henry, Thelma John, Victoria King, Dr. Pauline Knight, Mary Lazarus, Millicent Manning, Maya McConnell, Laura McDonnell, Blake Melhoff, Dolores Melhoff, Patrick Miller, Tope Oho, Valerie Palmer, Rudy Perez, Ralph Perry, Sheila Fang, Judith Ramsey, Isabel Rose, Mary Soto, Mary Ann Sautier, Lynette Olivet, Caleb Xavier Smith, Ellen Smith, Myrna Smith, Betty Marion, Stevenson Leonard A., Terry Thomas O., 
Terry Thomas O, Terry Jr., Dr. Sanya Tinbu, Constable Nadia Tobias Lynch, Angela Walker, Gwen Walker, Edgar Walter, Everton Webb, Chairman Williams, David and Molly Williams, and Marjorie Williams. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful God. In your and compassion, compassion, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Known no, 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 and unknown, no. things done and left undone. And, and, and so uphold us by your spirit, that we may, may live and serve, serve you in newness of life, life to the honor and, and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Mighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, concern and strengthen you to Jesus Christ to and keep you in life eternal. Jesus said, My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Sacrament. Good morning. A beautiful, cool fall Sunday. It's All Saints Sunday. And it's also Clergy Appreciation Sunday. I'm not even sure where Father is. Where is Father? We'll have to wait a minute. Father may still be outside. So perhaps Mrs. Henry can join Father at the front.
Good morning, Holy Sacrament. Our Sunday school class. Father Earl, Holy Sacrament Sunday School would like to join the congregation in thanking you for all that you do for Holy Sacrament and to help you continue on your journey as our priest. We are presenting you with a Holy Sacrament Priest Survival Kit. Okay? <laughs> so, Emma, you can come and hold it up so that we can see. Oh. Holy Sacrament, I need you, I would like you please to help us present our survival kit. There are six things in our survival kit, and in order for you to help us, when I put up the number one, you're going to say Father Earl. And when I put up the number two, you're going to say Holy Sacrament. Let's practice. Father Earl, Holy Sacrament. We're good to go. The first thing in our pre-survival kit is some acetaminophen. <laughs> Sometimes the members of Holy Sacrament can complain, we can debate, we can argue a lot, but this is really because we are so passionate, so dedicated. We truly want to do good in the world. Despite this, all that loudness, that passionate intensity might give you a headache from time to time, Father Earl, and so here we're giving you Tylenol extra strength, Father Earl, rapid release gels, so that you can quickly come back to help. Thank you. The next thing in our pre-survival kit is a snack pack. Yes. Sometimes here at we ask for a lot, and it means that Father ends up in his office much longer than he thought he would be wishing he had brought a snack. And so we have pistachios, crackers, raspberry cookies, trail mix bars, some sweet things, some savory things, just to keep you going. Okay. The next thing in our pre-survival kit, and I don't know if you know this, but really likes you and one of our love languages here at Holy Sacrament is feeding. We give you food to show that we love you but this means that sometimes we might overfeed you <laughs> because we want to show you how much we love and appreciate you so these are some antacids. Just in case there is a moment when, I mean, how are you going to refuse the food, our love? It's so good. But here, here in your survival kit and acids. The next thing in our pre-survival kit are these Jolly Rancher socks. You know, Holy Sacrament is like a ranch. We are very, very busy here. We do many things at once and call you Father Earl to join us. And sometimes you might get exhausted. We have Bible study on Wednesday night. You have tech meetings after church on Sunday. You have tech meetings on Tuesday. We have confirmation preparation, lay ministers preparation. Our music ministry is going. Our men's group is functioning. Our women's group, ECW, is functioning. We just had the health fair. Friends Reaching Friends is offering Thanksgiving baskets. Yaya is preparing for youth service on November 20th. Holy Sacrament is busy, right? We are very busy. And because of that, you might get exhausted. You might hang your head down. So we're giving you these Jolly Rancher socks so that when you look down, <laughs> it might make you wiggle your toes, smile, and come back to being our Jolly Rancher. <laughs> This next gift, this next part of your survival kit, is actually for Mrs. Henry. Okay. 
You can pull it out, Amelia, so they can see what it is. So, there might be an occasion. Father Earl, one occasion, one time, when you might give some of the time that really belongs to Mrs. Henry. And on that one occasion, Father Earl, we are going to help you to apologize. <laughs> this is the gift you take to Mrs. Henry with your very sincere apology. And it is to, the name of the scent is You're the One. This is your reminder that you know, this is your reminder to her, that you know that she is the one and that we here at Holy know that she is the one too. <laughs> the last thing in our pre-survival kit for you is this jar of chocolate. Each week, you bring us a sweet message of inspiration, hope, love. And each of these chocolates is dark, <laughs> sweet, and wrapped in a message of inspiration, hope, and love. We hope you will keep the jar at your workspace and know that these sweet things are coming from us here at Holy Sacrament. Thank you so much for all you do for us. Father Sunday School and all of us here at Holy Sacrament. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Dion. That was masterfully done. We want to thank Dion and all the Sunday school teachers. For that wonderful presentation. So much happens here at Holy Sacrament, as you heard her say. And they don't just happen, right? Lots of work, lots of meetings, lots of people committed and dedicated to making this work. Mrs. Henry, will you come up for us? So we want to especially thank you on behalf of the vestry and all the people of Holy Sacrament for keeping Father Earl grounded and balanced and for sharing his time with us. We know, we know, behind every successful man there is. We know, we know how it works. So... We thank you, and you have been a blessing to us all. Thank you so, so much. Father, you want to come up? So take a bow. <laughs> Father Earl, we know that you have had a long and exciting and successful career. 
But you joined a church, our church, at a time when we were buffeted and battered by COVID, by the resignation of a rector that had been with us for a very long time. We were blessed with the soothing words of Mother Jackie. And then when the diocese said there was going to be change again, as a vestry, we were very concerned about this constant change and how much more can our parish really take. But after we heard your first joke in the first sermon, we said, oh, we have something we can work with here. We can work with this. But in all seriousness, Father, you have been the face of this very exceptional parish. We're a parish that has a heart for mission and for empowering our community. We're a parish that we will never give up. We will never be discouraged. We're going to go out and do the work God has given us to do despite. And we thank you for walking alongside us, for advising us, for blessing us, and for being our spiritual leader and confidant. It's not always easy to lead Holy Sacrament because there are a lot of us that want the best for us, and we put our hearts and minds and souls emphatically and powerfully into it, and you had to deal with us. So we appreciate your patience, and we appreciate the calm that you bring to us and the wisdom. We're also confident that as we transition to our new priest, we've seen that your jokes have also transitioned and that you can have a complete other career as a stand-up comic. So we have no worry for you. On behalf of the vestry and the people of Holy Sacrament, we are so, so appreciative that you have held us down and we know that you will continue to bless us as we move forward. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you thank you at the end. Do some quick announcements. We want to welcome everybody worshiping with us today, those of you at home, those of you in your cars, those of you in the sanctuary. We thank you for sharing your time with us on Sunday mornings. We ask you to remember your ties. We had a wonderful stewardship kickoff Sunday last Sunday. If you haven't returned your pledge cards, please mail them in or donate to us online. In the sanctuary, the collection plates are at the front. You can drop it off at church. You can give us your ties online, whichever way. Just send it to us so we can do our work. We want to remind everybody of our Yaya service that's coming up on November 20th. It will be from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., Lots of planning has gone into this. I'm sure it's going to be spectacular. Um, the tech team wants to share with us a video of the car wash that they did a couple of week ba weekends back. There's so much happening here, I can't even remember when that was. So tech?
So much talent in her church. So much. The youth, amazing. Watch out for car washes coming back on Sundays when you're all here with your cars so that we can help to fund some of our programming. We have some special people that are back for the first time with us this Sunday. So we see Mr. Lennox Skyers. So happy to see Lennox. It's been a rough couple of years for him. Bless you. You will see Lennox, the sound ministry has, Brian came in here and shook that all up. So uh, welcome back. We're always here for you. We also see Nadine Turner and, you know, Robin's here working every single day all the time. And we know Nadine is back home supporting him. And thank you to Noah, but thanks Nadine for being out with us. We see Dana Grant and her family. Welcome back. Welcome home. We see Merle Mills. Welcome home. We really appreciate you guys coming out. And our church is safe and really prepared for you guys to be with us. We also see Jenna and Dulcie Beckley. They're visiting, but whenever they are in town, they worship with us. So welcome. Please always come back. And then we have a special birthday in the house today. Miss Kathy Bunbury, I don't know where she is. She's trying to be outside. But Kathy works probably as much as Robin here every day, just working, working, working. She was our delegate to the Diocesan Convention, which was this week as well. So happy, happy birthday, Kathy. Thank you so much for what you do for Holy Sacrament. Bible study this week on the 3rd at 7 p.m. Next Saturday morning at 9 a.m., Brotherhood of Faith has their meeting. All the men in the church are invited to it. They're really trying to spruce that up, so please join them. You will be excited. The ministry leaders, please remember to send all your budget requests to Beverly by the 22nd of November and all the calendar dates that you need reserved for next year to Melissa. Lots of stuff happening in our church, and we want to get ourselves organized. It's already, tomorrow's November 1st, if you guys can imagine that. The year is just galloping. Our raffle will be drawn on November 15th. You guys have two weeks to just finish up all those books. They're going well, but we want to see all that gone, right? We need a lot of things to be done. We're working on the pavilion. The pavilion was a large um, area where we could raise income, and we know that we have so many needs with our physical plants and so forth, but because of vandalism and other things, if you look back there, it's been knocked down, we're putting in a floor, and we're trying to bring it up to at least where we can have um, events again. So anybody that wants to contribute specifically to the pavilion, you can let us know on that as well. Um, but support the raffle because it goes to help all the things that are going on in the church. Men's group are going to have their fish fry in December, which seems like far away, but it's not December 17th. Um, COVID update, doing well in Broad County. Um, COVID is still around, so don't let your guards down. On the 29th, we had 1,178 new cases, which is down, going down every day. Seven-day average, only about 168 cases. Um, vaccination rate is also up in Broad County. We're way up, we're leading the state. We have 74% of 12 and up vaccinated, and that should improve now that the vaccination is going to be um, out there for kids. And in the 65 and up age group, 87% are vaccinated. So you know what to do, family, to remain safe. Get your COVID vaccine, get your flu vaccine. Holidays are here. We want to celebrate and be safe and well. God bless you all. Congratulations, Father.
O Lord our God, you're worthy to receive glory and honor and power because you have created all things and by your will they were created and have their being. Spirit, you 
The Lord be with you. Be with you. Lift up your heart. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and It is right and a good and joyful thing. Always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. For in the multitude of your saints, you have surrounded us with so great a cloud of witnesses that we might rejoice in their fellowship and run with endurance the race that is set before us, and together with them receive the crown of glory that never fades. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Thanks to your God for the goodness and love which you made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you, in him, you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. The night before he died for us, the Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ in his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to, <coughs> to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection on the earth to Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, Jesus Christ, O Lord, the first part of all creation, the head of the church, and the order of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ had told us, we are bold to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.
Hallelujah. Christ, the Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Take and eat them in remembrance. Christ died for you. Feed on them in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Please remember when you get your sacrament to hold on to it until you hear the instruction in the body of Christ, then you unwrap and you consume it.
The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, unwrap and enjoy. when you leave here, something is wrong. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful finger dexterity of Michael on that keyboard. And Dwayne on the drums, Dwayne on the drums. I, and, and we have Sister Francis on the, uh, on the keyboard as well. So I, I, I want to thank you guys. Very good work. Let us pray. Eternal God. Oh no, see. The sacrament of blood and blood. Send, send us, us now, now into the world, world in peace. And grant us strength Thank and courage you, to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Birthdays. Come on up. Beauty Queens. <laughs> you from? 
Where are you from? Parish. And you're from what parish? Or this one here, too. <laughs> Miss Jamaica. And then we have in the center, we have Miss Holy Sacrament. <laughs> Miss Kingston. And Miss Bahamas. And Mr. America. And let us pray for these our friends who, and we ask God blessings upon them as they journey into a new phase of life. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand, comfort them when they are discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up when they fall, and in your heart, you have made a peace which passes understanding and abide all the days of their life to Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you now and always. Look out for you, Pierce, the cake will come. <laughs> and congratulations on your birthday. Wedding anniversary? Well, we'll pray anyhow. Loving Father, we thank you for those couples who are celebrating an, an wedding anniversaries during this week. We give you thanks, Lord, for joining them together in holy matrimony. Should they hurt each other, may they seek each other's forgiveness and the hours of God. May their home be a haven of love, joy, peace, and harmony. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Uh, Mrs. Henry and I want to say thank you for the outpouring of love. Uh, I had no idea. New, usually I can pick up on things real quick, but Diane did a number on me. She kept it under cover. And, <laughs> and I want to thank my little Sunday school friends. Don't worry, I'll share the chocolate with you. <laughs> because cause I can't eat chocolate, I'm allergic to it, but you, shh, don't say nothing. <laughs> you will share the chocolate with me. And my wife wants to thank you too for welcoming her here and for the beautiful orchid. Um, I know she might not sleep, she won't watch the orchid all night. <laughs> So thank you, Tony. Uh, <clears throat> as this, our senior warden had told us already, we are having confirmation on Saturday evening. And we have our candidates who will be, uh, like our candidates who are here to stand up for me. Any of your, my candidates are here? One, two, three, come on, Daniela. Come on, right anymore? All right, so on Saturday evening, the bishop will be here. He lay hands on them, and they will be well. Again, put your hands together for my dear friend Noah Daniela and a Johnny who read so well. And Daniela said, "I am nervous." I said, "No, man, you do well. Didn't she do a good job?" Yes, yes she did a, a great job. You see, when you think you can, God gives you the strength to do it. So again. And you know, I was watching the video with the car wash. And I want to advise my friend not to put on short pants in the movie because I had on short pants one day and somebody told me, your foot look like cassava stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Robbie, no put on short pants. <laughs> It was wonderful and, uh, to do. So as, the, as our senior warden reminds us, one Sunday we will have a car wash, and you're not leaving till your car is washed. So we'll, uh, we'll do that for you, and we'll, we'll have fun. So get ready, because Yaya, Yaya is coming. Bring, invite all the kids you know in your neighborhood to come, 
and, and to have fun here uh, with us and um, we'll do great. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for your appreciation of me and um, at our diocesan convention this week when we broke out into rooms one of the questions we were asked is what do you like about the church you are in and I as they would say I big up holy sacrament <laughs> I told them that we had the best virtual choir in the diocese And I, I told them how good we are doing. And so, and they had a nice uh, session on stewardship. I will share that with uh, Katima and Earl and uh, Erna and the rest of you who are on the, uh, on the um, stewardship committee. So keep watch, we'll, we'll do that. I'm sure our senior one reminded you and I'll do the same again. Remember that next week the clock is changed. The time we move one hour back, so you get an extra hour to sleep. Now don't turn the clock off when the alarm get off. <laughs> so remember that, and uh, we are so good. And I want to thank Linda and uh, Marilyn, who is not here, and Kathy, who shepherd the kids um, to to be ready for. Uh, confirmation next Saturday. So thank you ladies for your work and your contribution that you do. And as I said, you are saints and you have to support and pray for one another. Even when Sona get back to me, I know she pray for me. <laughs> so we pray for one another so that we can all be strong it's prayers that keeps us together. So I want to thank you all again for your ministry here um, in this part, my lay readers, my choir, the ushers, the ECW, the men's group, the Sunday school, the Sunday school teachers, the musicians, the technicians. Thank you all for your work that you did. And I can't forget the altar gill because they make the place look so nice. And yeah. thanks, <laughs> thanks to our sextant who keeps the ground so beautiful. You know, uh, I see him working on Sunday. Uh, grumpy, I love him the same way. <laughs> so. Thank you all, and God bless you. The Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you now and always. Amen. Uh, the, the confirmation candidates uh, and reception folks uh, will meet with you briefly for like five minutes. So. Don't run away confirmation candidates and receptions and um, reaffirmation folks. We want to see you briefly, all right? Brother. Yes, brother. Just a quick reminder. Sure. Right, sure. Thanks, um, Robin. So if uh, we got a, got the hall open to to take the overflow, but uh, in here we have limited um, because of the. I think we have about a total of thirty or so people confirming receiving. Yes, Ian. Oh. Yes, so if you are not able to, or uh, you can't fit in, get on your tablet, your phone, even your TV, you can put it on and you can view the confirmation service. And then, the day after that, the Sunday, the candidates will all come back. You all come back for your first communion. So 
you, I'm expecting you to see you back again. So, thank you again. So with you. The service is ended. Go in peace and love and serve the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. <laughs>